2020, 2021, like you could have known nothing about the markets and just bought a lot of these speculative assets and done very well. It was very exciting. Unfortunately, that was a bubble. Now, you know, 2022, 2023, it's like the hangover after the crazy party that 2020 and 2021 was. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here. Coming to you very excited, 2023 new year. So much to go over, so many new millionaire students. Congrats uh, to all my new millionaire students. The speed at which we're creating millionaires is getting a little insane, frankly, because we have hours and now years of content that's piling up for you to study. If you click the link below, you get access to it all. If you join my challenge, all the DVDs, all the video lessons, all the webinars, archived and new live webinars. Um, so much content, it helps you get better prepared for trading every single day. We don't know what 2023 is gonna bring us or 2024, you can't control the market. All you can do is control your preparation. So in this video, we're talking about, are you gonna be excited to trade? Is it good to be excited? Is it bad to be excited? Um, it's not an easy answer, okay? When I first started trading back 20 plus years ago, I was so excited to trade. I was like, the adrenaline rush, the money, the thrill of like, you know, even seeing if I was right. Like just the challenge of trading every day, it, it just made all my little brain cells perk up and I was really happy. Um, it inspired me to basically ignore my friend's senior year of high school, freshman year of college. I was so focused on studying. I wanted to be a better trader. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the right tools back then. I didn't have a mentor. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at people's trades online. There were like websites and forums, but they only showed their entries. They didn't show their exits. So like my education was mainly like through trial and error of my own trades, which made me excited, but it was also frustrating because like, now I've really fine tuned my process. So you don't see me having many big losses. Back when I first started, I had a lot of big losses, a lot of big wins and a lot of big losses. Still came out ahead, but it was very stressful, very confusing and very exciting. Um, then after a while, I got more mechanical with my trades, like cutting losses quickly. You know, I had had a lot of like five, 10, $20,000 profits, sometimes making 50,000 in a day the adrenaline rush wears off um, over time. You know, it, it's, it's, I don't know how to say it because like it's, it shouldn't, right? Like, you know, whether you make 50,000 a day or 5,000 a day, it's all great money, logically speaking, but from an adrenaline rush standpoint, an excitement standpoint, it just, it, it became boring after a while. Um, and frankly, it only got exciting for me for trading again when I donated all of my trading profits to charity because now it's not just like, oh, you know, I can afford some, some more nice things. Like I'm already spoiled. I already take care of my parents. That's pretty much all I need. But now every time I make a trade, whether I make $500 or 5,000, it goes to like feeding a village or sponsoring uh, a new school or like giving toys, books. Uh, now we're building homes. We're saving animals. We're cleaning up the plastic from the environment. Like for me, I found my passion and I channeled that with trading. So my trading profits all get donated. So now it's exciting for me. It's still not as exciting as in the beginning because that was like pure adrenaline rush. And now I look at my students and I see the same kind of excitement in the beginning followed by, you know, it becomes like a grind because especially in 2022, it depends on how well you do, right? Like if you're doing really well, it's really exciting every day. But in 2022, which was the worst year historically, the stock market, the bond market has ever had, um, most traders blew up. A lot of traders just lost a lot. My top students and I were all green on the year, barely though. Um, it's not as exciting when you're not doing that well. And then it's like, oh, let's take some time off. Several of my top students who were on the verge of cracking a million, not quite millionaires yet, but like the Shunk brothers, um, you know, David reverse long, like they're traveling. They're like, screw this. You know, I, I, they're not making that much with their strategy. They'd have some wins, some losses, but they just went traveling. So, you know, you can, you can change 
whatever you want with trading, like your location, your mindset, what percent you donate. You don't have to donate 100% like me, donate 5%. But you should always be adapting to not necessarily be too excited because then you're like a gambler looking to trade too much. But like you should wake up or you should, depending on what time zone you're in, you should get to the market with like some solid uh, enjoyment, if not excitement. Like, you know, you're going to spend a lot of time trading. You should probably not hate it. You know, studies show that 70 to 75% of people under the age of 30 hate their jobs. They just do it for the money. If you do trading just for the money, you're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to get excited. You're going to look at it as like, this thing that you have to do just to pay for things. Um, And then it's also dangerous, whereas you can hate your job and still do it. But if you hate trading and you do it, you might force trades. You might go too big because you just want to get paid and then get out of there. Trading is very fragile. Um, A lot of it is psychological. You're not getting paid like bi-weekly or bi-monthly by like a company. There's no like health insurance. There's no benefits. There's no you know, bonuses after like you, you hit five years. You really have to enjoy um, the challenge of trading, not for the money, not for the adrenaline rush. Leave a comment below, I'm curious, do you get excited by trading? Is it for the adrenaline rush, like the thrill of being right for the money, because the money can change your life and your family's life, or you know, a village's life if you wanna donate? Um, Or, you know, do you just want to be a gambler? Like it's not even about being right. Like you like the thrill of battle. Leave a comment below. I'm curious to see what you think. Maybe you don't even know what you think. Maybe this is the first time someone's asking you this question. But it's important that you understand this. Trading, you got to get introspective. You got to break down all of your your thoughts, your your, um, strengths, your weaknesses. You got to like you know, fine tune your process, then, you know, trash the process and recreate it. Like it's a constant game of reinvention with different markets and define what stimulates you. It's not just going to be a one time, you know, kind of thing like, okay, let me learn how to make money. And that's, that's the game. There's a lot of ups and downs, especially if you do click the link below you do apply for my challenge, let's say you do become one of my next millionaire students, then you get a whole bunch of other uh, issues to deal with. Check out this little video of several of my top millionaire students. I think it's pretty funny. They get so excited every time the market is about to open. That's, I know it's like a little skit that they did, but like they get so excited because now they've, you know, all those guys in the video, they're five of my newest millionaire students, they now have the ability to make so much money in any given day because they have a bigger bankroll and because they already have experience. Um, you know, I remember going to Michigan uh, just a few years ago. When, Pascal, when, when did we do the Michigan meetup? It was a few years ago where I went to Michigan. I did like this Midwest meetup because I, a lot of my top challenge students came from the Midwest. And I was like, what is this? So we rented, remember I rented that farmhouse, the power went out. We're like, it was a mess. We're in this small town in Michigan. Play the video. Can you include the video of us coming out of the corn stalks? Yeah, corn right? Like, feel the dreams. So July of 2019, they were only up a few hundred thousand each, right? Like, that's crazy. Now Dom is like around 2 million, Jack's over 10 million. Just back three, three and a half years ago, they were only at a few hundred thousand. So that's the upside potential if you do take it seriously. And now I would say that both of them, I mean, you know, Dom and Jack have been committed throughout um, you know, Jack Schwartz has been committed. Huddy's been committed. Kyle Williams has been committed. Uh, Matt Monaco's been committed. Roland's been committed. Mark Crook. Um, Michael Good was at the Midwest meetup too. You know, all of these guys and now girls, Mariana, props to you. They're so committed to their education 
that they were really, I think, excited to learn and become a master. And that excitement over their education led to them becoming a master. I wish that more people would get excited for learning. Um, and as I was saying in a kind of a roundabout way, now all of these guys in this video, they're excited every day because now they have millions in their account and they trade you know, pretty aggressively. I always tell them like trade, trade, like just be more humble. They don't like that. I'm like the, the, you know, the caretaker and I'm like, watch out kids. Like, I feel like I'm like packing them like a little brown bag for lunch, but I'm a conservative guy. And their excitement now is because they see the potential that they can make more quicker. And Jack has had several, you know, Jack Kellogg has had several hundred thousand dollar days. Just in the past week, we have a tweet, you know, where he made what? He had three or four days in a row of $100,000 each. He wasn't able to do that back three and a half years ago during our Michigan meetup. So again, if you do click the link below and become one of my new challenge students and you take your education seriously, and then, you know, again, I can't guarantee you that you're gonna be my next millionaire student, but the, the more dedicated you are, the more patient you are, the more exciting it becomes, because then you have a bigger account. Does that make sense? You know, I got this message the other day. Someone's like, Tim, I'm really not enjoying studying. I don't think this is for me. And A, 2022 has been terrible for most traders. You know, um, again, all my students and I are green on the year, but just, you know, slightly. It hasn't been anything to write home about. A lot of traders blew up. A lot of investors blew up or lost a lot. And it's like, you know, it's, it's stomach turning losses. And then this student messaged me like, oh, I'm, I'm not making money and I don't enjoy studying. Yeah, no crap, you're not gonna enjoy losing, you're not gonna enjoy studying, but you gotta push through it. That's why I'm making this video about excitement, right? Like you have to have perspective. If you make a lot of money, you're gonna get very excited. Even if you're not making a lot of money, but you see a lot of opportunity, you're gonna get excited. Um, 2020, 2021, like you could have known nothing about the markets and just bought a lot of these speculative assets and done very well. It was very exciting. Unfortunately, that was a bubble. Now, you know, 2022, 2023, it's like the hangover after the crazy party that 2020 and 2021 was. Um, the most success you'll have will be over several years. You know, all of these guys who are now excited to trade every day because they have bigger account sizes, they got started during a slow market. They didn't have fun studying. They didn't make much anything at all in the beginning. Jack Kellogg, namely, gave a great uh, challenge webinar a few weeks ago talking about how he lost $2,000 his first year. Not for lack of trying, he was trading almost every day, but he didn't know that much. He had a small bankroll and he lost a little over 2,000 in year one. That's not exciting. You know, are you gonna wake up and be like, let's trade and let's lose an average of like $20 a day. But again, he prioritized his education. All my top students get excited about getting educated. Then they see, thanks to my other millionaire students, what you can do with enough education, right? Like literally, Jack Kellogg, Matt Monaco, Dom, Huddy, Kyle Williams, Mariana, all of these new millionaire students only studied so hard because they were inspired by my last round of millionaire students, Mark Crook, Tim Grittani, Roland Wolf, Michael Good. Now you have basically two groups, and there's, there's more too, but you have multiple groups of millionaires who became millionaires at different times using my teachings, all in my challenge. I'm very proud of the challenge, not just the DVDs, the video lessons, the webinars, but there's a separate chat room, which is my favorite chat room on the internet. Um, so click the link below, apply for my challenge. Do me a favor and get excited about your education. Get excited about learning. Leave a comment below. Actually say that. It doesn't even matter if you didn't leave a comment earlier in my video. Um, most people don't follow my instructions anyways. But whether or not you left a comment, are you excited about trading? Do leave a comment and say how excited you are to learn. Because trust me, if you get excited about learning in the process by which you learn, then the world is yours over time. But you gotta focus on your education first. Process over profits. 
That's how to truly get excited and how to truly succeed in the stock market over time.